Christopher Kerr, and I wrote a spec script for Brooklyn Nine-Nine, entitled Memento Maureen. Welcome to my floating abode, where the magic happens, my fortress of awesomeness. Well, I initially penned this script for the Nickelodeon Writers Programme about a couple of intakes ago now, and at that time, certainly here in the UK and my other home of Australia, we were at the end of season three, and I was quite taken by the idea of writing my way out of that corner to return to the status quo for, for season four, and the comedy opportunities that brings with the, the characters of the Nine Nine. So I elected to retell season three, memento style, um, reverse chronological order, little vignettes weaving in this new plot in order to achieve that. But just because something's a comedy doesn't mean it shouldn't have a heart or a social conscience, something to say, and I felt that element was missing. And then Out Walking the Dogs suddenly came to me. Some research I had done, a um, feature I'm trying to write about James Heydrich um, involving the, the amazing Randy, had uncovered um, the real harm, the real uh, hesitant to use the word evil, but the, the evil of certain psychics or um, supposed psychics, the charlatans. And uh, with that fresh in my mind again, suddenly I had an antagonist and the character of Maureen. A Netflix marathon uh, one Saturday to get up to speed, a um, couple of evenings pondering during the week and then um, a weekend to, to sit down and bash out the script proper. Nope. Um, I am a pretty diverse, come for hire type uh, writer. Um, nothing I've managed to get produced as of now, um, though this was my first attempt at a sitcom and it was uh, a lot of fun. At Crazy Rose 80 asks, why did I enter Scripted Palooza TV and isn't second place a lot like first loser? Um, as I mentioned earlier, I had a, a script I was quite proud of, um, work smarter, not harder. I could use the exposure and um, Scripted Palooza's very well respected, renowned um, showcase. I don't think Firefly is coming back. So we'll never get to see Nathan Fillion up against Nathan Fillion as both Mao and Mao's antithesis brother who exists only in my head. But uh, as far as current shows go, Better Call Saul uh, has got comedy, drama, doesn't mind taking some risks, that would be an amazing writer's room to be part of. Um, I should also go without saying that in terms of sitcom, the daddy is, and possibly always will be, arrested development. <laughs>